live from the Quad Cities with Morgan OTA and Kyle Keel. This is Quad Cities Live. Today on Quad Cities Live, Barnyard Yoga in Eldridge, Iowa. Learn more about all the fun summertime opportunities happening at the McCarty Corner Farm. It is our monthly meeting of the QCL Book Club. We'll welcome the Davenport Public Library for a look at the book we read for May. We're also unveiling our book for June. And later, don't forget to purchase tickets to this weekend's popular Village Hops event, how proceeds benefit the future of the historic village of East Davenport. It is Monday, June 3rd, and you are watching QCL, and it is a first alert day, so we do have a couple storms yeah. that we're keeping an eye on. I'll have an update on that a little bit later. I'm Kyle Keel. Thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, I'm Morgan OTA, and we're starting off on this Monday with something we like to do yeah. every week, which is our wins of the weekend. Uh, so I'm sure you had a great weekend. We had great weather yesterday. Oh, it was great weather. Yeah. Yeah. and we took full advantage of that yesterday. I'd consider this weekend where I had multiple mini wins. So the one I cho am choosing to share is uh, we went along Ben Butterworth Parkway oh. in Moline and uh, did some rock throwing in the <laughs> Mississippi River. The kids enjoyed that. And of course we had to pause on our walk to stop and smell the flowers. Look how cute My she is. My daughter Chandler, I, I'm, I'm obsessed. <laughs> yes. My blue eyed Wrap, little girl. Wrapped around. <laughs> yes, she, she certainly is. And uh, Carson's got mom's finger. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we had, a, we had a good time, enjoyed the weather, played at the park down there. And a lot of people out enjoying the weather, not only on Sunday, but Saturday as well. We had to get through that rain, but yeah. at least we had a nice day yesterday. So this isn't my win, but it was going to be my win when yeah. you talk about the rain on Saturday. Yeah. I was, I was saying this on Friday to Eric. I need the rain because yeah. I need to put away like four loads of laundry. Perfect weather to do that. And I did it. You did, you good guys. Job. I, mean, I did it. How many loads was it? Do you want to share? I, I, I honestly <laughs> think it was like probably three loads of laundry. And when you have little kids' clothing in there, oh, I'm telling you, yep. it's such a pain. It so, is. but that's not my win, actually. <laughs> yeah, right? let's hear it. Um, yesterday, I went to the um, Old Oaks. I think yeah. I'm saying that right. Um, they're in Milan, and um, celebrated spot. my friend Kirsten's birthday. Uh, I didn't include a picture of her because she would have yeah, had oh, my head. I know how um, that if is. If I put yep. her on TV, yep. so I included a picture of Darby who got to <laughs> join uh, for the birthday festivities, and it was just a great day to be out there. That spot is so cool. I know it we is. featured them on, on PSL yeah. before. Um, there's so much space for kids to run around and yeah. uh, it's just it's just a beautiful setting. So I'm glad we have that. I haven't been cities. out there yet, but uh, a lot of my friends, I'll be scrolling through social media. It's a popular spot on the weekends for yes, sure. Yes, it is. I, yeah. I think uh, somebody, uh, one of the women there said, oh, back again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're becoming recognized there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Yes. Um, another really fun Monday trip tradition yeah. that we have here on Quad Cities Live involves our adoptable four-legged friends. Yeah, Patty McRae is here from the Quad City Animal Welfare Center. And Patty, you always bring an <laughs> adorable little pet to uh, share with our audience and hopefully find a, a new home. So who do we have here today? This is Big Mac. Big Mac. <laughs> Big Mac. And he is a three-month-old neutered male kitten. And hey, he's buddy. wonderful. He is. Yeah. Oh, man. What a good boy. He's so sweet. Yeah. Like, he seems so calm. I mean, you never really know, right? No. I mean, we had a kitten kittens. recently that was just like also adorable yeah. but just wild all over Bouncing the place the but he seems just really comfy and calm uh -huh. likes to be cuddled yeah he so, is so he actually has uh, some brothers and sisters he does he has five siblings and so we have them like in little a little kennel and they're all cuddled up in like this little kitten ball it is the cutest thing you've ever <laughs> seen it really is they're adorable um, they just got to the shelter yeah. so they're just a little reserved but yeah. when they were in their foster home they were running around okay. playing and getting into stuff <laughs> Uh, being kittens. That is so cute. Uh, so yeah, just got to the shelter. So they were in foster care, which mm -hmm. is another thing you guys always looking for yeah. people yes. Uh, yes. to, to uh, consider being um, pet foster parents. Mm -hmm. um, so these are, uh, are these the siblings Nick here? Nick Flurry, Quarter Pounder. That was the other name. Quarter yeah. Pounder. That Nick is Red. kind of fitting. Uh, <laughs> spicy McNugget. Love it. Look at that face. So these are all the siblings there. And so they're all at the shelter right are, now yes. for anybody who's interested in one of these little McDonald's. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> yes. Well, we have uh, good news to share because last time Patty was here, we had Apple Jacks certainly stuck out in our minds. Yes. And Apple Jacks was adopted yes. pretty soon after the show, right? He, yes. Yes, definitely. Um, went into a loving home. What a nice cat. Yeah. Yes, Boy, he, he really was, was. He was one I walked into Looking our cat room and he was sticking his little arm out and he was like, <sighs> hey, <laughs> take me with. 
And yeah, what a what a sweet boy. Yeah, I remember we had a lot of fun with him on the show when he was here, and everyone thought how cute he was. Yes. I wanted to take him home, but he went home pretty much the next he day. Did. Is what you he said. did. He yeah. did. That is awesome. We yeah. love to hear that. Uh, so something that we really want to talk about um, with you today is mm -hmm. that it is National Microchipping Month. Very important. Yes. Um, very important mm -hmm. uh, for folks that may not be pet owners or maybe new pet owners. Explain what microchipping mm -hmm. is. So microchipping is a permanent identification. And it looks like it's in um, a syringe. And basically, it's the size of a grain of rice. Okay. It gets injected into their shoulder blade, that microchip. And so if your pet would ever get lost, come to a shelter, go to a vet clinic, uh, we would take a scanner, and it looks just like this. This is okay. a universal scanner. Okay. And then we just run it over their back. And there, that's the number that's associated oh, to sure, Big Mac. Okay. So Aww, then once he, number, when he gets adopted, what we'll yeah. do is we'll put their information in here, the, the pet parent's information. So if he would ever get lost, we're going to have that information. And it's so much yeah. easier to get him back to his family so yeah. he's not sitting in a shelter. You know, I feel like I've been seeing more and more of that too on social yeah. media. A lot of people lately mm -hmm. I'm seeing posts about, hey, there's a dog walking around this street and this street, um, you know, Moline, Davenport, and yeah. uh, many of them, them, they're not microchipped. Is that something that you can do with like an older pet or do they have to be, you know, babies? No. Um, any dog anytime. or cat, okay. anytime. So we have our wellness clinic and yeah. it's every Wednesday from 8 to 11 and it's the first Saturday of each month from 8 to 11. Okay. So basically what you do is you get in line, you drive up, you have your pet with you, and we really prefer you have your kitty in in a carrier. Okay. So make sure you do that. Good to know, yeah. And then um, we will ask you what you want. And if you want to get a microchip, we'll take your pet in, we'll get the microchip, we'll give you the information, and it's $10. And that's a special promotion that you have yes. going on. For it's the month of June. For the mm -hmm. month of June. I mean, yeah, you can't beat that price at all. That's fabulous. And it think just of how important it is. I was going to say, yeah. it just gives you a sense of comfort knowing that if your dog or other pet does get loose, that's mm -hmm. just one quick scan. I mean, I, I've never yeah. seen it done before. It's just as easy as that. that oh, it is. It's super easy to do. Yeah. And then what you want to do is, is make sure you get that information to your veterinarian so they have that on file as well. Okay. Um, and then just uh, keep this number. And if anything ever happens, you know you have that peace yeah. of mind. Yeah. It's not like a collar that can be taken off. Exactly. No, that's really important. And you make this very convenient for people because if they can't actually come to the shelter or a clinic, you do mobile clinics as well. Yes, yes. We actually have um, uh, one this Friday. It's at the Zion Lutheran Church, okay. and that's in West Davenport, and it's going to be from 2 to 4, and we will have microchips there, oh, vaccines, nice. flea and tick, heartworm prevention, so we'll have pretty much all of our uh, services available. That's fabulous. Yeah. It makes it mm -hmm. so easy for yeah. people. You know, like, it's kind of like no excuse at that point when right. you guys do so much outreach. Yeah. Uh, it's hugely important. Um, we uh, also want to talk about uh, Adopt a Shelter Cat yeah. Month, which is also yeah. underway. Mm -hmm. uh, at this week, um, you guys are doing a really cool promotion with yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's fun. So all of our adult cats, their adoption fee will be based on their weight. I love it. So <laughs> let's say, for instance, we have a six-pound cat. Yeah. Six dollars oh, for the adoption go. fee. That's awesome. Um, That's yeah, a good promotion. It's, it's just a fun thing that <laughs> yeah. we wanted to do. And we have some other promotions coming up later in the month that mm -hmm. are really going to be fun too. I love that. And before we go, Patty, I mentioned to you last week when you were on the noon news with Marsha, you've got Jack on I your do. on your uh, yeah. shoulder there. Remember, remember, Morgan, we yeah, had that pin we too. Had Mine's pins on. in my kitchen because he's so adorable. Yeah. Yeah. If I didn't have three monsters at home, I, I would definitely try to adopt <laughs> yeah. him. But you're still trying to get Jack a home. We are still trying to find Jack a home. Aww. Jack is very high energy and he's yeah. not great with other animals. Sure. So that puts some limitations sure. on who can adopt him. Yeah. I think Jack would be great with <clears throat> like a young couple that oh, sure. likes to go hiking and wants yeah. a dog that really wants to go, go, go. And, yeah. you know, somebody that's active and wants just a dog to be their best buddy. Yeah. That's Jack. Yeah. Right. Oh, my gosh. That pin. He yeah. is, like, celebrity cute. Yeah. He's, like, he smiling is. at the he camera. Is so yeah. sweet. I love that. Well, if you want to adopt, adopt Jack or Big Mac, the <laughs> little kit we featured today, you can uh, certainly do that by visiting the Quad City Animal Welfare Center online by heading to QCAWC.com or you can call the number on your screen. Patty, as always, thanks so much mm -hmm. for joining thanks us. Thanks for having us. Thank yes. you, Big Mac. Thank you. You're such a Little good cutie. boy. <laughs> Still to come on Quad Cities Live, from cats and dogs to alpacas, we'll visit with McCarty's Corner Farm to talk about some fun upcoming events, including barnyard yoga. That's next.
You're watching Quad Cities Live. There is a popular family farm in Eldridge, Iowa, where people love to come check out the alpacas, goats, chickens, and poppins, the potbelly pig. Molly and Millie McCarty are here from McCarty's Corner Farm. Ladies, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. Yes, absolutely. It is so nice to meet you both. I can't wait to talk about everything going on at your farm. I'm so excited. Uh, Molly, let's start with uh, when you guys started the farm. It was not too long ago, which people may be surprised by because it is so popular. <laughs> yeah, we um, bought our farm um, in Eldridge about five years ago. It's been five years just um, this month. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, and we had never been farmers before, and we decided that um, our farm had always had livestock, and we thought um, maybe we would try alpacas. We heard a lot of great things about alpacas. We went to an alpaca farm, and we fell in love with alpacas. And soon after, people stopped on the side <laughs> of the road. They were taking pictures. They were honking their horn. They were yelling out the window. <laughs> I mean, look at those faces. We're showing some video of your alpacas on the screen right now. They are so adorable. They're really, really cute. Millie, what do you think about them? I think they are really cute because whenever you need to be cheered up, they will just cheer you up. Oh, I bet they do. That's so awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, you talk about the animals that you do have on the farm because we were just watching that video. There were quite a few alpacas there. You guys have lots of other stuff as well. So we started with alpacas. Um, alpacas aren't really fond of being touched and um, petted a whole lot. Okay. I mean, they're curious animals. Mm -hmm. They want to know what you're all about, but they don't yeah. really want to be hugged on. Right. So we decided to get a few goats, which then and we got a few more goats. <laughs> and then we got a couple more goats. Because you just can't have a couple goats. Right, no. And then we have a few chickens, about 20. Oh, wow. And then we got a couple ducks, and his name's Chad. Chad. But then we added more ducks. <laughs> and then we adopted Poppins last year at the Potbelly Pig. Oh my gosh, and Poppins is so cute. I did see some photos on your Facebook page. <laughs> Adorable. Uh, where do you come up with the names? Well, Poppins already had her name. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> Mary Poppins, she already had her name. We just all kind of, all the whole family sort just of just decides. decides, yeah. I have to ask Molly, what what was this like? You said that you guys hadn't farmed before, hadn't, uh, I mean, going from not anything at all to all of this, um, was it difficult or has it just been like, you know, something that you knew you always should be doing? It, it's kind of inspirational. It's yeah. sort of like our um, happy place. Yeah. So it's really, um, we love it and we love to share it with other people. Yeah. And it's, um, it's not really a job. It's more of um, just a relaxing, beautiful place that we want to share with other people. Absolutely. Very cool. Well, uh, what have you learned, Millie, about living on a farm with all these animals? Living on a farm can be really helpful because you get to know a lot more things. Yeah. And uh, sometimes in school you just know some things that other people don't know. Yeah. And it's very fun to have that inspiration. Yeah, I agree with you. It is a very unique and fun thing to have for your family, absolutely. Uh, you guys have all sorts of stuff, uh, Molly, going on at the farm throughout the summer months. So let's talk uh, a little bit about those things. Uh, first, there's a there's like a painting party coming up. Yeah, so this painting we'll be doing with Melanie from the Pot Shop. Okay. Um, that's on June 15th, and you can come out to the farm. I love this painting, by the way. Yes, and so it's fun. You can just bring your friends and paint, and then you can um, come visit the alpacas, meet poppins, <laughs> our goats, <laughs> our chickens, our ducks. I um, know a lot of people, like, they do these paint parties, and they are super duper fun, and this is kind of just a fun, unique twist on that. Just yeah. a different setting. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, you guys also um, have something you like to call barnyard yoga. Uh, so yes. what happens at, at those events? Well, Yoga is getting very popular. Um, yoga is, um, you just spread out pretty much in our, in our barnyard. Oh, there's some photos, and yeah. And our animals 
surround you pretty <laughs> they much. They really do. Um, well, there's Poppins. She <laughs> likes to just kind of come up and do yoga too. Sometimes she'll lay on your mat. I love um, that. The, the goats will, will eat and off your mat and sometimes they'll participate. Um, and then the alpacas as well. So just yeah, all the animals. Yeah, you're right. They do seem very curious. Like, what are all these crazy people <laughs> doing uh, at my house? But no, that would be a really fun, unique experience. I mean, this, the response has to be fabulous from people who've done this. Yes. And at first, there's Millie doing a handstand <laughs> against a, a goat right there. Good job. Uh, <laughs> yes. So at first, um, we thought, well, we'll try this and just see what it's like. And the response has been great. Oh, yeah. Everybody really enjoys it. Um, and it's, you know, come out and you get some fresh air, plus you get the whole farm experience with very, it. Very, very cool. Um, you guys also have a, a small store um, <laughs> on the property, and you actually brought some items from your store uh, with you today. So yes. uh, talk about some of these things that you guys uh, are, are selling. You want to talk about our honey, Millie? So our honey, we have bees in our backyard. Okay. Maybe like 2,000 or more. That's a lot of bees. And every year, ev like every like summer we get bees bees and we get to harvest the honey oh, awesome. and we get a lot of honey so we have fresh honey from our bees that's great. to sell in our store that's great people love it i bet yes they do yeah that's awesome and you have some soaps yeah we have like goat that? milk soap we have lots of alpaca products hats and mittens socks of course dryer balls <clears throat> Um, we always have farm fresh eggs, which are right there. Um, oh, awesome. The kids always love to come to the farm and collect all of our eggs because they're um, they're just freshly laid, and so it's like an Easter egg hunt. All, all of the this time. sounds like a super fun thing, like not only for a kid who's visiting, but for your children as well. Like what a what a fun way to grow up. I think that's really special. Millie is our expert egg collector <laughs> every day. You are. <laughs> yes. That's fantastic. I know exactly where they like to lay in their eggs. If it's a new spot, I will remember that and check in next time. Oh, <laughs> perfect, perfect. Well, uh, we talked a lot about some really fun events uh, today. Uh, if you want to learn more about uh, each of these events, you're going to want to follow McCarty's Corner Farm on Facebook. Here's a look at their Facebook page. Uh, there you're going to find links to register for a variety of opportunities, like we talked about, the painting parties and the barnyard yoga. Um, Millie and Molly, thank you so much for coming in chatting with me today. You did a wonderful job. This is Millie's first time on the news, right? Yes. You did awesome. Very, very cool. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you for having us. Well, still to come on QCL, this is not your average trivia game. We're previewing an event happening this weekend that will encourage participants to answer sometimes difficult questions about taboo topics. Learn more after the break. You're watching Quad Cities Live. Not your average trivia game. It's an upcoming event allowing all of us to delve into a taboo topic and spark important conversations about death and our end of life wishes. Becky Nakashima Brook is the founder of Illuminate Healing Studio, and Maggie Driscoll is with Blue Spruce General <laughs> Store. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Welcome back. To thank you. you for having yes. us. Yes, thank you. Always great things to talk about. Now, um, Maggie, uh, Blue Spruce is hosting this, this Not Your Average Trivia. Uh, so, uh, first describe your business for people. Uh, you guys are very popular, so I know there's very few people out there that probably haven't heard of you guys at this point. Um, but just describe mm -hmm. the space for us and what people can find at your store. Yeah, well, we're typically closed on Sundays, but we're happy to be open to do this event with yeah. Becky. Um, we typically have a variety of sourdough, cake, uh, uh, like a French-style deli line, and... Um, we have a micro grocery as well yep. with a lot of uh, interesting products, some of them Midwest based, some of them we go quite a ways out of our way to make sure they're in our store, mm -hmm. uh, like these Colesvart uh, gummies we have here. But um, on that particular Sunday, we'll, be pr we'll have some cookies, probably some scones. Uh, coffee, tea, and then whatever sounds kind of snacks around the place. That sounds great. Yeah. That sounds great. And we are looking at photos right now of Blue Spruce General Store. Uh, you guys really do. You carry some um, some unique favorites that you know it, people be hard pressed to find on their own, which is really special. But you guys also make some really great stuff. Great yeah, sandwiches. You. Yeah. So you've got a lot of fans in the newsroom. I'll yeah. just I'll just put it that way. Right? I recognize a lot. of <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Good. Um, and, and Becky, um, you'll be leading this discussion, correct? 
correct? Um, correct. On Sunday. Uh, you are an end-of-life doula. So we've talked about this on the show prior, but um, in case anybody missed it, uh, describe your work and what that means. Sure. So an end-of-life doula is someone who's present with you towards the end of life. Um, you can get a hold of them when you... Um, know that you are towards the end of life. Um, but I also have people come to me to start to prepare, just getting their advanced directive. I suggest getting your advanced directive ready um, at the age of early as 18, because we just don't know what will happen. But mm -hmm. um, I can be there for services as simple, something simple as like helping clean the house, tidying up, but also there sitting vigil when your person is passing. Um, I can give respite to the caregivers. Mm -hmm. and. Um, just being an advocate uh, when you're when you're in the process of dying. Mm -hmm. So, allowing the family to be there for the emotional support, and I can be there for the stuff that mm -hmm. you know is maybe everybody doesn't want to deal with. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, the folks that like yourself that that do this, um, it's such an important thing. Um, talk a little bit about how you got into this kind of work because you do have a, a, a unique and touching background here. Sure. So. Um, uh, one of the things is that growing up, we were um, kind of, our parents were protected us from death, but in that way I feel like I was scared of death, so it's brought me to this work. And then my, um, within a y less than a year of each other, my dad who was sick, um, he had terminal um, illness and I was taking care of him, but during that time my brother unexpectedly died. Mm -hmm. And so seeing how my dad had the time to plan, he did all the letters to grandchildren that weren't there, he wow. did um, he, he did music so he made a CD, wow. um, but my brother didn't get a chance to do, the, do that. So there's something you can do with um, people who are wanting to plan for their death, and it's called legacy projects. Mm -hmm. So my dad taught me how to do that without knowing wow. that he was teaching me how to do that. Wow. So I can do that with people and have done that. Um, Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so um, this is an actual trivia game that, yes, uh, that it will is. lead to discussion, <laughs> which obviously we, we know um, Becky's going to be an amazing person to hear from when it comes to this topic. Um, morbid curiosity is the game where these uh, trivia questions come from, so describe it for us. Yeah, so Maggie's got a, a little chance to look through it too. Um, some of the questions are really deep, which would be what we were discussing would be better to do like one on one with family. Mm -hmm. um, I've played this with my family a couple times, and it, some of the questions are like a little heavy, but some yeah. of them are more fun. Um, so we'll be playing more of the more interesting facts. So okay. We do you have a couple questions for you? Okay, I'll do my best. Okay, do you want to take. I can read one. Yeah, you want to read that one? All right, this is then, one of the. Multiple choice trivia questions. Multiple choice, uh oh. Uh, which city can make this claim? Home of the drive through funeral parlor since 1968. A, Atlanta, Georgia. B, uh, Los Angeles. C, Dallas, Texas. Or D, Detroit, Michigan. A drive through funeral parlor. The first one was Atlanta? Mm hmm. A. You are correct. Nice job. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I got one. Do you have time for one more? Yeah, let's okay. do it. Because you always look fantastic. What fashion advice would you give to the Grim Reaper? Oh, <laughs> um, you know what? I, th I think you're doing everything right. Black never goes out of style. That, yeah, it's true, it's <laughs> true, it's true. <laughs> it is slimming, isn't it? it? it yes, is. that's what my director Owen just said. Black <laughs> is slimming. You guys are so much fun. Yeah. I mean, this is gonna be a really cool event, and I do think it's like a, a great way to, you know, uh, dig into some of those topics. Yeah, as get well. the conversation going, and um, there's just such, like you said, taboo around yeah. death, and obviously we all are presented with it at some point. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So uh, not your average trivia game. It is <laughs> happening uh, this Sunday, June 9th, from 1 to 3 p.m. This event is free, but it's important that you do register ahead of time because space is limited, and you can do that by heading to illuminatehealingstudio.com/events. Uh, she's got it listed right there for you. Uh, Becky and Maggie, uh, thank you so much. What a unique uh, thing to, to put together, but it, it sounds like it's going to be a success. Thank so you thank so you. much. Thank, thank you. you so much for being here today. Well, coming up in our next half hour, our monthly meeting of the QCL Book Club. We're choosing our book for June, but before that, we'll review the one that we read for May. And later, this weekend marks the third annual uh, Village Hops event in the historic Village of East Davenport. Why this craft beer and cider tasting event is bigger than ever. You're watching Quad Cities Live.
It is time now for our monthly meeting of the QCL Book Club, a partnership with the Davenport Public Library. And joining me, as always, from the library is Brittany Peacock. Brittany, welcome back. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. Uh, we, we made it through another month of reading. Yes. I actually read this one. Uh, super fast mm -hmm. like all my um, my friends on QCL Kyle included I finished that book so fast they couldn't believe it I'm like I can't put it down <laughs> it was so good it was so good yeah. so it was uh, watching you mm -hmm. uh, by uh, Lisa Jewell yes um, and it's this one here on the end um, of our table that's that's a look at the book cover right now um, on your screen um, so uh, describe this one a little bit she's fabulous at writing so good. these twists yes and you don't know what's happening, like for most of the stories. So no. somebody is dead, but we don't know who the person is that's yeah. dead. And so it kind of starts with this teenage boy. He's watching his neighbors and all of their kind of yes. comings and goings. Yes, he's like a little spy. Yes, yes. And his dad starts getting attention from a neighbor. Mm -hmm. And so he's starting to look into that. Mm -hmm. And then somebody dies. Yeah. But we don't know who dies and we don't know who did it. Yeah. And I agree. You I also listened. don't really yeah. know who like the, the bad guy is, no. so to speak. In yeah the whole book you think it's one person yeah and it turns out like there's a whole other background story yes anyways i i would recommend it he, definitely i would absolutely Hands recommend down. it yep. i want to read another book by her as mm -hmm. soon as possible yeah. okay let's talk a little bit about our june options yes. uh great outdoors month bear with me now by katie shepherd so that is uh on your screen right here uh gardening week which is underway this week actually Yay. uh the body in the garden by mm -hmm. katherine shellman best friends day is coming up this saturday the celebrants by stephen rowley and uh, read repeat day which is ooh, is that today I think today, it is June 3rd yes, perfect yes, uh, the seven and a half deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton I hope I pronounced all of you those names great. correctly because they deserve it um, so yeah we got some great options there mm -hmm. so if you want to add any of those to your Goodreads list please do so but we got to pick one yes just so one. drum roll and it's gonna be Celebrants by Stephen Rowley. Um, I, I love the cover art on this, and that's part of the reason so pretty. why I wanted to choose it. <laughs> yes, I love a, a book with a vibrant color on yes, it. Yes, it's great. Okay, so um, tell us a little bit about what you, you have you read this one yet? Or I've you, started. You've started it. Yes. Okay, yes. so give us a little bit of like what it's kind of about. It's a group of friends. A group correct? of friends. Um, they're 18. They are, I'm sorry, they're graduating college. They lose one of their friends. Okay. And so they get together, um, and they make a pact to have a funeral of sorts when each person goes through a kind of a traumatic life event. Okay. And so throughout decades, these five people are getting together through these life events. Oh and goodness. it's so good so far. Oh, I'm I can't wait to the audio. Start, and yeah. I, I'm having a hard time putting it down. Yeah, it's ready to go. I've got I've got the book downloaded and I've got it on Audible, so I'm excited <laughs> to get started reading. We've we've had some really good luck with so books good. these last few months. Yes. Okay. A lot of things to talk about happening at yes. the library. Yes. Uh, summer reading challenge uh, just kicked off. Just kicked off. Yep. Uh, June first, we are doing our summer reading challenge. It is read, renew, repeat. So all about recycling this summer. So it is an all oh, ages nice. event. Um, we have opportunities for you to participate online through our Beanstack app, or you can get a paper log, but it's summer reading your way. So you can do reading, um, attending programs, and then doing activities with your family. Yeah, it's just a, it's really a great way to keep kiddos engaged. And if yes. you're a reader, like I wasn't a huge reader. I, I took a break from it until we started our book yeah. club. And now it's just, it's so much more important how my yes. daughter's starting to read. Yes. Um, so it's it's a great way to just get them, um, just doing a little something yes. through those summer months. Yes. It's, and it's entertaining, it's enjoyable. Yes. Okay, so you have Lapsit story time uh, yes. every Monday, mm -hmm. June through July. This is yes. cute, this is for the little ones. Yes, this is um, gonna be um, at 10 a.m. at our Fairmont branch. And yes, so this is for little, little babies. They're oh not goodness. walking, they're not really moving and grooving. This is a great way to introduce story time to young people and also for parents to connect with one another yes it's kind of isolating when you have a brand new baby at home. hey good point this yeah. is yeah this is a good opportunity because that you know what when you have a baby that small you're in the, the mm -hmm. throes of yes yeah like do I have any friends or yeah. Yeah. I don't know what my name is <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> okay and so there's uh, something else cool going on people yes. are gonna be meeting at the Main Street branch yes um, mm -hmm. because you can take a little walking tour tell yes. us uh, about that yes uh, lace up your walking shoes <laughs> we are going to have a, an expert leading a, a tour downtown and they're gonna talk all about the 
the architecture, all the unique buildings downtown. It's about an hour and a half of a walk. Wow. So just be prepared for that. In. Yes, bring an umbrella if it rains, but it's going to be amazing. Yeah, this is a, a really cool opportunity. We have a lot of history yes. in, in downtown Davenport, so we this sure is do. a really fun thing to do. Uh, again, that's June 20th. And finally, uh, we want to end by talking about a few of the children's books yes. that you have brought with you today. Uh, you uh, tend to have a theme. I think yes. last time it was kind of a shark theme because yeah, a little one had asked for that theme. Yes. It appears we are doing cats. Cats. It's Adopt a Shelter Cat Month. You're How right. fitting that I was here right that. behind a kitten. Yeah. So, um, yes, so it's all cats. Um, I read What If I'm Not a Cat? <laughs> um, earlier today, it's about a donkey that thinks he's a cat. He's raised with cats. It's so <laughs> adorable. Um, but all of these are really great titles. I'd be happy to give all of the suggestions. All of the suggestions. Um, I just think it's really great uh, when you do this because uh, when you walk into the library, this is a good problem to have. Mm -hmm. There are so many books to yep. choose from for our littles. Yes. Um, so if you see something on this show, if it's recommended by Brittany, you know it's going to be a cute, good book yeah. for the kiddos. So. And peer-reviewed by young people. <laughs> yes, peer-reviewed by young people. <laughs> and a quick reminder, um, if you want to read along with us, and we hope you do, be sure to join our group on Goodreads. Just search groups on Goodreads for QCL book club. Uh, also, there's a link to join our book club right on our website. So head to kwqc.com and click on the tab for Quad Cities Live. Uh, Brittany, thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to this book. Yes. And uh, we would love to encourage others to read yes. along with us because we'd love to have some commentary Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. And it's a good variety. We don't read it's the same variety. things over yes. and over again. It's going to be a good summer read. Yes, All right. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> well, still to come on QCL, two popular small businesses located in the village of East Davenport will join us to talk about the third annual Village Hops event, which is happening this weekend. We'll get the details on the dozens of craft breweries taking part after the break. You're watching Quad Cities Live. Village Hops is quickly becoming one of the most anticipated events in the year for the Quad Cities area, and this year it's bigger than ever. Yeah, Tracy Cameron and Kim Wessel are joining us in the studio now. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah. I love when you guys are on the show because it means we're talking about Village Hops mm, or yes. something yes. really cool happening <laughs> in the village. Uh, Kim, you guys are actually event co-chairs, uh, but you also run two very popular businesses yeah. in the Village of East Davenport. Um, so, Kim, tell us about uh, Kella and Mezzanine Boutique. Um, so, Cal and Mezzanine have been in the village for 16 years now. Wow. So, Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I feel like we're the anchor. Yeah. It's been there forever. <laughs> um, but we do um, design and um, furniture below, and we have a women's clothing boutique upstairs. So, a little bit of everything. I can vouch. It is fabulous <laughs> to walk through. I brought my mother there last summer. We had fun. Yeah. Yes, we did. Yeah. We had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and, and Tracy, of course, brew yeah. um, in the village is like incredibly popular. People love being there. They got like, I don't want to give too much away because it's, <laughs> it's like my favorite spot. Yeah. But it's one of the best patios, um, you know, outdoor patios. There it is, a Can't photo of it. it. Oh, um, nice. Yeah. So tell us, uh, just tell us a little bit about Brew and, and what you guys are all about. Uh, we're kind of a funky little hole in the wall corner yeah. spot there. Um, we've got a great craft beer list. Yep. We have an interesting menu. We do a lot of uh, very unique things with, we don't have a lot of the great kitchen toys, and yet we come up with some really neat <laughs> yeah. things. Yeah. It looks, so, looks delicious. Yeah. I, uh, I, I think what we do is really neat. You do. So. Yeah. It's a, it's a special place indeed uh, with, with a lot of special people that, that work there. Thank you. Um, that take a lot of pride in yeah. what they do. And as Tracy mentioned, they got great beers already yeah. at Brew, but this weekend. I mean, this weekend, bigger, than better, bigger and better than ever at yeah. Village Hops, you've got more than 30 breweries, local and regional, that are going to be taking part. So what can people expect heading out? Oh my gosh, well, I mean, all the best beer in yeah. the Midwest, I think. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, I mean, we already in the Quad Cities have have it so good. We've yes. got so many great mm -hmm. breweries that are really just a stone's throw away from us, but we've also got some great people coming in from uh, Chicago. Mm -hmm. We've got Revolution coming in from Chicago. We've got Three Floyds coming in. Oh, nice. We've got Toppling Goliath, which of oh, course yeah. is is our our hometown star, Big Grove. We've got 
so many yeah. excellent beers to choose from and they're all bringing interesting things for us to taste. Yeah, so. I, I've, I've gone to the event before and it is really, really great because um, oftentimes they bring multiple uh, um, of, mm -hmm. you know, be, uh, craft beers yeah. from their breweries. So if you if you do have a certain thing that you like, if you don't like IPAs, for right. instance, mm -hmm. right. there's typically an option for you to try something else. Right, so. they bring different kinds of beer. Each brewery brings two or three kinds of beer to try or sometimes Let's more. Yes. Let's yeah. open yes. this one because Kyle said yes. he wanted to try Try it, double blackberry sour. I can already tell you that I like this one because yeah. it's one of my favorite. <laughs> you've had it. I've had it. It's one of my favorite summer beers. I mean, you can't go wrong with a sour, at least mm. in my book. I, uh, love, I love yeah. a good sour. So at this event last year uh, is when I decided or found out that I liked sours yeah. so oh, much. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're one of my favorites. She's like, Tracy's like, I'm going to pour this one. Too much foam. Oh, Morgan. no. <laughs> I'm just no. kidding. No. <laughs> Ooh, no. It was. I just thought I would get in there There's for everybody. Up. I got the thumbs up. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's very good. It's, it's very nice and sour. I, I love a good sour. I do, too. Um, and uh, Big Grove knows how to do that. They, mm -hmm. know, they know what Their they're doing. Their sours are excellent. Yeah. Um, and, Kim, talk about the proceeds um, from this event, okay. because obviously it's a big fun party for everybody, but this really is helpful to the village as it well. Is. It is. So this is um, the first event of the season that... Um, helps raise money for the village of East Davenport. Yeah. We're a non-for-profit for the business um, association yep. down there. Um, it lets us host um, other events sure. in the village, um, make sure the village looks beautiful for everyone to come enjoy, lets us put on Christmas in the village. Which is so um, great. That's another great event. Yeah. It is. So, um, yeah, it just kicks off kind of a fun season down um, down in the village. It's yeah. a great day to spend the day, come shop in the afternoon, come to Village Hops yeah. in the evening, and yeah. then um, stay. Yes. And Have dinner at Brew. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Nice, nice little plug there. Yeah. So uh, obviously you need tickets to go, so you make it very easy to get tickets. Yep. How can people get a hold of those? Um, tickets, you can get them on Eventbrite. Um, you can go to the Village um, Facebook page or right. the Village website. There's a link there that will take you there. They're $30 in advance, so we're encouraging people to get them in advance. Mm -hmm. Get you through the gate a whole lot faster. Yeah. And then $40. Um, yeah, at the day of the event. Yeah, it's um, it's a fun event. Uh, where there's going to be live music there. Yep. You see that on your screen. There will be food vendors along with obviously other restaurants in the village like Brew. Um, it, so just go online, get your tickets. You know, when we saw the photos, we saw a lot of folks in those photos. The streets are packed. Yeah, I'm here to tell you, it is a well-oiled machine. Awesome. So even though you see okay. a lot of people, I mean, you, you'll get to try everything that you want to yeah. try. So yeah, yeah this is yeah. going to be a great Good weekend day. for it. Lots of lots of great beers to try. Absolutely. And I'm already looking forward to next year too, right? Right. We Always are. planning. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> it should be a good one this year, though. Yeah, sure. absolutely. Uh, well, Tracy and Kim, uh, thank you thank so you much guys. for joining us today. We'll make sure we get all that information for folks yes. up on our website so they can purchase their tickets in advance. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Your News at 4 with Sharon is coming up next. Have a great evening.